How's it going everybody and welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to download and install EMBS. Now before we get into this video, I will ask that you like or dislike this video if you find it helpful or unhelpful. And if you want more content like this, think about subscribing. Now let's get into it. So first thing we're going to do, nexusmods.com. In this search bar we're going to put in EMB. If you want the most popular EMBs, go to sort by and change that to endorsements. For this video, I'm going to use Rudy. No particular reason, I just. I don't know, I'm going to use Rudy. So, when we go into any EMB, we will scroll down and we will go to requirements. When we click on requirements, it will tell us what we need. So, for this one, we need EMB helper and we need EMB binaries. So, first things first, download the EMB. It is a manual download. Do not do what I just done. Go back. Go to files, scroll down, find the weather mod that you're going to use. So if we're using Obsidian, there you go. In your case, I'm going to use Rustic. So we will we'll do that. I'm going to use Rustic because I like Rustic. It's my new thing at the moment. So now you can see it's downloading. Cool. So because it's a manual download, it will come like this as a RAR file. Just hit save. No problem. Next, EMB helper. We just need the main file. Now, for EMB help, you also need SKSC64. If you don't have SKSC64, you do not know how to download SKSC64, there is a link at the top right hand corner of your screen now, a little grey bar that will show you how to download and install SKSC64. Boom. So, we're going to download this. EMB helper will go straight to your mod manager. Next is your EMB binaries, the world's worst website. So as you will see, there's nothing showing you what to click. So just scroll down and you will see news. Click news. Go to downloads. Scroll all the way down to the end, you'll see a list of games. We are looking for the Elder Scrolls Skyrim Special Edition. SE Special Edition. If you have the normal Skyrim, use the normal Skyrim. Then you want to use the newest version, so the highest number. In our case, it's 0.421. And then you will see this. Scroll all the way down to the end. You'll see download with a little arrow. Click the little arrow. And hit save. So now we have our EMB series and our EMB itself. Okay. The other thing that I need to get, because I forgot to get it, was a uh, rustic weathers. Make sure all your mods say Skyrim Special Edition if you have Skyrim Special Edition. We're just going to take the main file. And there we go. Now, next step, we're going to install our binaries. How we're going to do that is on the bottom left hand corner of our screen, you'll see a zip file that says EMB Series Skyrim SE. Right click, Show in Folder. It's highlighted. Right click it again. No, you don't even need to do that. Here, just click into it. Go into wrapper version. You can extract if you want to hold on to the files. If you want to do that. Okay, so here's our MB files. Okay, in within wrapper version. What we want to do is my SSD is where my game is. Wherever your game is, do the same. We're going to right click and open in a new window. Just so we have it like this. Now what we need to do is we need to find Steam, go to Steam Apps, go to Common, and go to Skyrim Special Edition. Now, in our EMB binaries folder, we need the .dll files. So if you hold control, you can click each one. There's only two of them. Also, take the local file, just for argument's sakes, just take it. That way you're covered for 99.999% of EMBs. You can drag them across if you want. What I do is I just um I just copy them and then right click over here and paste them in. And you can see they popped in here to our Skyrim folder. You'll know you're in the right Skyrim folder if you have your Skyrim SE launcher and Skyrim SE. Also if it's Steam, Steam apps common and then the game. That's your binaries installed. Done. Next is your EMB. Again, you want to, oh my god, please leave me alone. 
Again, AMV at the bottom, right click, you see her highlighted. Perfect, so minimize that, we can get off the internet. Open up Vortex. Open up our mods section, you'll see all our mods. At the end of the mods, there are drop files. So we're going to open up our file explorer and we'll see Rudy with a little page beside it. And you're just going to grab it and hope Microsoft doesn't try and screw you. You're just going to grab it and put it into the drop file. And then close. You've added it. Now all you need to do is install it. So first things first, go to our downloads. Install AMB Helper. Uh, install Rustic Weathers and install your EMB itself and then enable them. Go back to your mods, type in EMB. Okay, so make sure both of them are enabled. Perfect. All right, we're done. Now, to launch it, we have to launch it. If you do it the way, if you install SKSE the way I do, you have to launch it through the loader as shown in the SKSE video. So now, if we launch it, it should look different essentially yes yeah, so now at the top left hand corner of the screen you'll see compiling shaders wait if it takes too long oh also make sure you enable your shader cache on your graphics card okay so now Bethesda has launched you can see at the top left hand corner of the screen now we have EMB series 0.421 so that's what we downloaded that's what we installed perfect hit continue or new save whatever you're doing launch the game so we know our EMB is now in our game we know everything's good next step where where are we river. oh now we are in Riverwood I'm gonna add screen captures at the end that shows you vanilla and um, and this this build Luke. first thing that you can do when you do EMB is come here press pause shift and enter and then you will pull up your EMB series. So you see how we have two two um pointers. The white pointer is the one that you want, so make sure you have the white pointer over here. So as you can see we can go to our rays, or sunglers, our shadows, and you can set the quality of shadows and the detail of shadows. Obviously you have them really high, everything will be really dark. And the shadows will be very intense. You can mess around with all these settings. And even if it goes completely pear shaped where you go down to like 20 FPS or everything starts be to become a blur, if you just close your game and relaunch it, it'll come back to the normal preset unless you go up here and hit apply changes. As long as you don't hit apply changes or save confirmation or save configuration, sorry, um, you're fine. You can mess around all you want. You can go into anti lazing, you can enable it, disable it. Hey, same. Like the list goes on all, you know. There you go. Anyway, you can mess around all the settings to see what you want. It comes with a standardized preset for the weather pack that we chose, and then just hit Shift Tab to get off it. Uh, word of advice, though, because you do not have control when you do when you open up the menu, you will still, if you press the mouse, you'll still start punching in game. So you have two options. One, obviously, hit pause. Another option is open up your console commands and type T detect. And it'll turn off the AI detection, so they won't know where you are. Okay. I'm gonna add, add in a lot of screen captures here at the end, so you can just look at them. But that's the end of it. Done. EMB is installed. That's it. If you enjoyed the video, hit like. If you didn't enjoy the video, hit dislike. Leave a comment if everything goes bad. I'll try help. If I can't help, I'm just not gonna answer, or, or I'll put a love heart beside your comment when I do that. <laughs> um, and if you want more content like this, hit subscribe. Thanks for watching, enjoy your day, and I'll catch you on the next one.